Hello everyone, Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. So, this beautiful cabinet has been teasing me for weeks on Marketplace. I've watched it pop up over and over and over again and I finally caved and got it. It's not in great condition. It needed a lot of sanding to begin with because the original finish was just so flaky and broken. Um, so I sanded it back and as I was sanding, I started to reveal that timber and I fell in love with it. So I went all out and I completely stripped it back. Um, as you can see, so to begin with, after my sanding, of course, I always give a really, really good clean. And then I don't, did not apply any primers to this piece. Priming was just not necessary. I'm painting black. I'm not worried about bleed through. Um, and I'm not worried about adhesion. I knew the paint would stick. So today I'm using Purico's Carbon in chalk finish. So this is their chalk paint. I'm applying one coat all over and then I just did touch-ups. I did not need a second full coat and I applied it with two Fussy Blokes rollers with the 5mm nap, which is the ultra fine. I'm painting over a very smooth surface, so a 5mm was perfect for it. And I just rolled it on. Uh, I did cut in um, in the corners where my roller wouldn't quite get, but apart from that, I rolled it on. It took me about 20 minutes. The doors were a little bit fiddly, um, but it was really, really easy to roll my paint on. And then of course I also rolled the shelves, which it just gave a spray-like finish. And it was really, they're really, really beautiful. You cannot tell at all that I have rolled them. And then I came in with Pure Eco Stain and Glaze in the color Carob and I applied one coat to all of the timber areas, including the top. So the carob is this really beautiful brown. It kept the natural color of the timber a little bit. It wasn't hiding the natural color. It was just emphasizing it, which I really, really, really loved. And it's really given the piece a lot of warmth as well. Stain and Glaze, of course, is a water-based stain. It is very easy to apply. I had my spray bottle on hand if I needed it, uh, but overall it was a cool day. My stain went on very, very easily all over. If I found that it wasn't moving quite as much as what I wanted, I just gave it a quick spray with some water. To seal, I used Pure Eco's Pearl Sealer in the color, of, in the color black. So this is so luscious and just rich in color and over the carbon. To finish carbon, this is one of my absolute favorite ways to finish it right now. I've done it on several pieces throughout the studio. It gives just the tiny hint of glimmer and it gives a little bit of shine, but it's just really, really luscious and it's soft and it's beautiful. And inside the display cabinet, it's just enough to sort of lift the black and stop it from feeling too flat as well. Uh, so I applied one coat all over. I used a brush to get it into all of my corners um, and then I rolled it on as well. To finish my timber, I used Pure Eco's Hemp Finishing Oil. This is a natural oil, all natural. It's Australian made and owned. Um, and it just hydrates that timber. It brings out the grain a little bit more and it adds further protection to the timber as well. The Stain and Glaze has a built-in top coat. It does not need to be sealed, but it is ultra, ultra matte. So the hemp oil, I find, just helps lift that timber that little bit more and uh, just hydrates it that little bit as well. So it's my favorite way to finish over the Stain and Glaze. 